Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have the spring sampler from Kay to share with you. I love Carla's samplers. She did one for last spring and summer and she did a fall winter one and they were both really, really nice. They are, I believe they're all customer creations. There might be some that are like Carla's own creations, but far as I know they're all customer creations and I didn't write down whose customs these were but I'm pretty sure it's listed on the Facebook group so I'll list what I can below um, here is their business card and I believe there are 12 clamshells in this sampler and it was $39 so really good price for this I just I love these samplers anyway let's just get into it I just have them still in the bag and I think there's some candy in there but I'm just going to reach in and pull these out the lighting might be weird I'm recording this at night I usually do these during the day but I'm just getting a chance to do this now and I didn't want to wait any longer. I was too excited to, to get into these, so I'm doing it now. Okay, the first one I pulled out is Sandy Bum Bums. This is Island Fresh Gain, Coconut Milk, and Boom Boom. Oh, that's good. Right off the bat, I'm getting Island Fresh Gain and the boom boom oh I really like this this is like I worry about coconut and coconut milk sometimes I don't always get along with coconut scents but this is really nice this is like really relaxing to me like beachy relaxing Oh, oh, I really like that. Okay, it's this pretty, like, pale yellow color. I love this. Oh, I could keep smelling it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure that one will be a repurchase in the future. I'll probably let these sit for a little while. Um, I believe, so today's... Friday the 10th and I believe she put these up on the website on Sunday this past Sunday the 5th I want to say it was so I don't know how long before that they poured them but I did find with my last two samplers that after letting them sit for a few weeks the scents were even stronger this smells pretty strong on cold but I am gonna let them sit we are like it is so cold out right now so I'm not gonna be melting this anyway but I'm gonna let it sit and it's gonna be perfect for spring and summer that's really nice okay I still have 11 more clams to go the next one is garden showers sorry if that's too close um, April fresh downy bonsai and dove soap love all of this this sounds amazing too Oh man, I get everything in there. I love, I love all those notes. I love bonsai so much. I love all the downy. And I love all the soaps. Oh, this is good. Oh man, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I would definitely get more of this in the future I can already tell I'm gonna love this and it's like a really light pale green wax color oh this is good <laughs> seriously if you like fresh laundry soapy <laughs> you need to get this blend I don't know who came up with that, but that is 
so good. So garden showers love so far. We're two for two. They are both really good. Next one is stone washed. This is downy blue white clouds ivory soap. Again, I love all of those and First thing I get is the ivory soap. Oh, so clean. Oh. Okay. Ivory, ivory soap forward. That's such a strong oil. I definitely get the downy blue. And I do get the white clouds in that order. Oh, I bet this is going to be <laughs> so good on warm. Oh, okay. I'm like <laughs> smushing it into my face because it smells so good. Ugh, I am loving these. Next one, Mr. <laughs> Clean. I don't think there's going to be a miss in this sampler for me. This is Barbershop 1920s Blue Sugar and Clean Cotton. Again, love all of these scents. Clean Cotton is like my favorite laundry scent. Oh, I don't know if I said what color the wax was on Stone Washed, but it's white. Ooh. So good. Man, that is really nice. Blue sugar and clean cotton with just a little bit of that barbershop 1920s. I love this. This is fresh and clean, but that blue sugar gives it a little bit of a warmth. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's a really like pale baby blue color. I love this. Oh gosh, that is so good. Mr. Clean, another hit for me. I can't wait to melt these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait a few weeks for all of these, but I'm going to try to let them sit. Okay, the next one is Mega Pint. I love that. <laughs> um, Blackberry Bordeaux, Beach Nights, and Cherry Slushy. So, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, out of everything on the list, this was the only one that I wasn't, like, 100% sure about for me personally, but I do like all of these things. Sorry, my alarm was going off. I like Blackberry Bordeaux, I like Beach Nights, and I like Cherry Scents in the right blend. I don't like a chapstick cherry, but I like other cherries. Anyway, let's see how this smells. Yeah, I like that. Cherry slushy first, which I like. It doesn't smell chapsticky, it smells like a cherry slushy. I do get that blackberry bordeaux, and I get the beach nights. This is interesting. I like it though. And like I said, this was the one that I was worried about, so. That is unique and I, I really like it. I think I had her Blackberry Bordeaux in another blend and it was much brighter when I first got it and after letting it sit for a little bit it, it like deepened if that makes sense. I don't know why but I guess just the cure time helped it deepen a little bit because when I hear blackberry bordeaux I think of a darker kind of blackberry scent and right now it's pretty bright but I, I'm thinking if I let it sit for a bit it's gonna get a little bit darker like it did in the other blends that's good I like this I definitely get the beach nights mm, that is good and it's like a yellow 
kind of color. I think <laughs> it's dark in here, but I think that's yellow. Um, Mega Pint. That is good too. Okay, next one is, oh no, this, I think this was the one that I was most worried about. <laughs> this is Peach Kiss. And this is Peach Nectar, Exotic Coconut, and Vanilla Lease. So peach and coconut are two scents that are very hit or miss for me. I love peach nectar from Scentsy. That's like my favorite peach scent. I don't think I've had peach nectar from K if I can remember, if I'm remembering correctly. And I don't know if I've had exotic coconut in anything. So let's see. Okay, I think I like this. I feel like there's wax on my face. That smells nice. I don't think that this is cat pee peach. I'm mostly getting the peach, but I like it. And I think I'm getting vanilla lace. I don't know if I'm getting a ton of exotic coconut. Like, I feel like I can tell there's coconut in there, but it's not, like, jumping out at me. This is nice. I think I might actually like this one. And it's a peachy... There you go. Peachy orange. Yeah, I like that. So I don't think there's going to be a bad one in the bunch. The next one is Sir Charles. This is Prince Albert Tobacco Library and Barbershop 1920s. Oh, that's really nice. I'm actually... The Barbershop 1920s is really coming through in this one let me see I love Carla's wax it's just so like clean and easy I, I just love her wax this is really nice I'm really getting a lot of the barbershop 1920s and I didn't expect that to be like the first note I picked up just because usually library is like really overpowering to me in blends. Oh, this is really nice. It's a little like, I'm getting a lot, a lot of the barbershop 1920s and barbershop 1920s almost gives me like a, like a Barbasol kind of vibe. I'm getting a lot of that and then a little bit of this like kind of musky <laughs> library scent which I really love and then that tobacco I think that the, oh there it is I was gonna say the tobacco is really light in here but oh I think when this melts it's gonna be really nice and that Prince Albert tobacco I haven't tried that yet and I've been wanting to try it for quite a while and just based on how it smells in here I think I'm really gonna like it oh I like this one it's like I like that she put this in this sampler too because there are a lot of like bright fresh clean kind of scents and then this one is a little bit deeper but still kind of fresh from that barbershop 1920s <laughs> mm, that's good I love that did I show you the color it's green I, I like to show the colors for these because I like the colors that they pick. <laughs> mm, that's good. Really, really like that. Sir Charles. Okay. 
my big fat Greek wedding. This is Volcano and Greek Island Breeze and I like both of those scents also. Oh, that's really nice. Oh man, this is like, it's kind of how, it's, it's kind of a fresh, like a fresh aquatic breeze with a sweetness from that volcano and the citrus from that volcano is really coming through. Oh, this is really nice. This is kind of making my mouth water. Mm, and that pretty, pretty color, like a aqua blue. Mm, I really like that. This is going to be perfect for summer, like a hot summer day. Oh man, that's good. Everybody did an awesome job with these scents. Whoever came up with each one, they're all really good. Okay, the Red Sea. And there's a hair on my hand. Um, this is Lost Cherry and Black Sea. I like both of those and sounds amazing together. Oh wow, that's really nice. So I got Lost Cherry first, but that Black Sea definitely came up behind it. I feel like Black Sea is such an, uh, it's such a strong scent, at least in my opinion. I feel like they did a really good job balancing these. Oh, so good. So Lost Cherry is a perfume. I wouldn't say it's like an overly feminine kind of perfume. It's like a deeper cherry kind of perfume. And then Black Sea is kind of like an aquatic cologne scent to me. And together these are just, oh, so good. I really, really like that, and it's red. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> mm, I like that a lot. That would be really nice in the bedroom. That might be where I try this one. Um, sorry, that's like so bright. I don't know. Anyway, the Red Sea love that oh, I can't wait to see how that warms up okay the next one is blue waters and melon and this is cactus blossom emerald agave kiwi mandarin and melons I love emerald agave and I like cactus blossom too I can't get this clam open <laughs> okay oh yeah I love emerald agave and it's a super strong oil and it's coming through all, like very strongly in here. And I think um, Emerald Agave might have a melon note in it also. Oh, this is really good. I don't know. I don't know if I'm picking up the Kiwi and Mandarin. Definitely Emerald Agave and Cactus Blossom though. Oh, this is really nice. This has this like dampness to it, which is what I love in Emerald Agave. It has this damp scent to me in a good way, not in like a damp clothing, sitting for days kind of damp, but like I don't know like outdoors and like damp wood I, I don't know <laughs> that's that's what I get from Emerald Agave and I love it it's like aquatic but damp 
and this is so good. Ugh, okay. And that one was blue. Oh man, I just love emerald agave. That's a really nice blend. I don't, did it stop focusing? I felt like it was focusing and now it's not. How many are left? Just two left and there is a high chew in here. I'll probably give that to you, my husband. The next one, St. Mallow. This is French Lavender Coast and Ivory Soap. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, I already know. <sighs> so good, <laughs> so good. If you, I will say, if you don't like soapy scents, this might not be the, the sampler for you. But if you love a fresh, clean, get the sampler. I think there are still some, I think it's still listed on the website. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's so good. Coast and Ivory, first and foremost. But that French lavender is definitely coming up in there. Like the deeper I smell. Oh, it's so good. I don't know. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, I could just smell this for. My life could smell like this and I would be okay with it. Oh, it's so clean and crisp and fresh and I just love that and that was um, a pretty like lavender purple color that is so good so so good and one left I don't want it to be over because <laughs> they're all so good I just love these samplers so much everybody if any of these are your custom blends did an awesome job because these are all so good and Carla and her team always do an amazing job bringing these scents to life. So the last one here is Tea for Two. I think this is the only like bakery kind of scent, right? I think so. Um, this is orange, almond, scone, tea and cakes, and lemon curd. Sounds lovely. Uh, yeah, that's like a perfect spring, summer bakery. I, oh, that's good. Orange, almond, scone. I don't know if I've ever had that oil. Yeah, this is good. And then tea and cakes, I think, has like an orange, some kind of citrusy note in it. So this is a really citrusy bakery, but oh man, that is good. I get that like almondy note too. And I love lemon curd. This is really good for spring and summer. Like this is my, my kind of bakery. Really, really like this. Mm, yeah, I haven't had tea and cakes for a while and I do like tea and cakes, but I think I overdid it at one point. So I'm happy to have some back in my collection really good and it's a really pretty like pale pink kind of color okay yeah these are all so good these are all so good <laughs> at this point I feel like a lot of these would be repurchases the only 
I don't know. The only ones I don't like, I don't know. I think I love them all actually. I was gonna say the only ones I don't love on cold, well, I guess I would be Peach, um, Peach Kiss and Mega Pint. I hope I didn't break that clam. Nope, it's still good. Okay. Peach Kiss and Mega Pint are the only ones that I'm gonna definitely gonna have to melt and see. But actually they're, they're really they're both really nice. Yeah, they're both <laughs> really nice on cold. I like everything here. I love lots. And I already want more of some, and I haven't even melted them yet. Oh man. Okay. Really good. I don't know what my I don't know what my favorite would be. I I don't know. They're all so good. I really like the Red Sea. Sir Charles is really good. I don't know. Oh, that one, Mr. Mr. Clean is so good. I don't know. I like all of them. I, I can't wait to melt these. Okay. I think... Oh, oh, Garden Showers is so good, too. Um, Mr. Clean Garden Showers... The Red Sea and Sir Charles are going to be my top four picks from this sampler, but honestly, love them all. Love them all. So, like I said, I'm going to let them sit if I can for a couple weeks. I mean, I definitely want to wait until it's a little bit warmer to melt these, but if we have like a warm day in the next couple weeks, I'll probably pull one or two of these out to try them because they're so good and I cannot wait. Let me know if you picked up the sampler. If you did, what is your favorite from the bunch? And if you haven't picked this up yet, you should because it's so good. It is a hit. 10 out of 10. Like I said, they always do such a good job with these samplers. So that is everything that I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later.